Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is cell wall staining by chance method. So let's start with it. Introduction First of all, cell wall. Now cell wall is the outermost rigid covering of a cell. On the basis of cell wall, bacteria is classified into two types. First one is gram-positive bacteria and second one is gram-negative bacteria. Here we are going to stain the cell wall of microorganisms that is bacteria by chance method. Chance method is a special staining technique. This staining technique is used to stain the cell wall of bacterial cell and it helps in demonstration of a cell wall. Now, Different staining techniques are used to stain the cell wall and they are first one is chance method, second is ringer's method and third one is dayer's method. Here we are concerned with chance method. Let's start with staining technique. So first of all aim. Our aim is to stain the bacterial cell wall by chance method. Now let's see the requirements. So here we need a clean grease free slide, fresh cell suspension, 0.5% basic fuchsin solution, 0.5% Congo red solution. Let's see the procedure of cell wall staining. First take a clean grease free slide, make a smear with the help of a sterile wire loop air dry do not heat fix the slide flood the smear with basic fuchsin solution for three minutes after three minutes remove excess stain and flood the slide with 0.5 percent congo red solution for four minutes further after four minutes gently wash the slide with water and air dry it and observe under oil emotion objective so here the first step is Take a clean grease free slide, make a smear, air dry, do not heat fix it, flood the slide with basic fuchsin for 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, remove the excess stain and flood the slide with Congo red solution. Keep it for 4 minutes, then gently wash the slide, air dry the slide and observe under oil immersion. Let's see the most important part that is mechanism of cell wall staining. So the first is here the smear is air dried and no heat fixation is done because heat fixation alters the structure of cell wall. So here the slide is simply air dried and stained. The next one is as we know the cell wall and cytoplasm are acidic in nature whereas cell wall is more acidic than cytoplasm. So as we know the two structures that is cell wall and cytoplasm both are acidic in nature but when we compare the acidity of cell wall and cytoplasm cell wall is more acidic than cytoplasm further so when we apply the first stain that is 0.5 percent basic fuchsin which is a basic stain it stains the cytoplasm as well as the cell wall so when we apply the first stain the both important components that is cytoplasm and cell wall both get stained easily but here we want to stain the cell wall so the smear is treated with the second stain that is 0.5 percent congo red solution and congo red solution is a selective decolorizing agent it selectively decolorizes the less acidic portion that is cytoplasm and ultimately cell wall remains stained by the 0.5% basic fuchsin. So here ultimately cell wall remains colorful that is it gets stained by basic fuchsin and the cytoplasm remains colorless. Now let's see observation. Under oil immersion objective we can observe pink color cell wall and colorless cytoplasm. Here with the help of a diagrammatic representation I have tried to show how, what kind of observation you are going to get after staining the cell wall. So suppose this is a microscopic field. In a microscopic field you will observe colorless cytoplasm of bacterial cell and pink color cell wall of bacterial cell. 
Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.